Hello YouTube, well I've come through to see Stu today and we're going to have a quick look at his um, Heresy Army for the campaign. Stu, do you want to give us a talk through what we've got? Yeah, this is my uh, Death Guard Army. Um, they're, technically I'm doing them up as loyalists, as in proper pre-heresy. Uh, I like the idea that the Death Guard eventually, as we're going to find out, become the Grey Knights, or at least the foundation for them. Uh, I love Troop's Choice. And my uh, Death Guard, I absolutely love them. They're ideal, you know, they're, they're just this wall of aut almost automatons, just keep autom automatons keep going forward. So I've got to have them. So I've got a Mark II set, a uh, Mark III, no, Mark II? Mark II. Mark II, yeah. II yeah. Uh, squad, and I've got a Mark III squad. A uh, Mark II squad is pretty standard. Mark III's got a couple of wee bits and pieces thrown in, like the. The old Chaos backpacks and stuff like that as well. I got that one on that one there, yeah. Yeah, it just fits in with the stuff in the book about them as well. Mm -hmm. um, I think my favourite thing in my uh, dark, in my Death Guard Force is my Contemptor. This guy's in the back. Yeah, I've got three more of them underway at the moment. Um, but I absolutely just love the model. It's gorgeous. The poses are... Pose options are amazing. Yeah, you, so. can, you, can, hand, yeah, you can have them standing almost anywhere you yeah. want, can't you? I got the first five of my Flamer support squad done. Obviously, the Death, uh, Death Guard special rule is fantastic for that. So, got another five of them working on at the moment. Rapier was a new addition. Rapier was a fantastic new addition, and in the last game we played, uh, was quite crucial in taking down some of the harder stuff. Yeah. Um, I've also got my old Mortarian model there, which is standing next to the communications guy. Um, that's the Kabuki Models one. He's not very big, so he's because I've now got the proper Matarian model that I'm working on, he's just going to become a captain, I believe. Yeah, and uh, Mortarian is going to be in the next game, isn't yes, he? Yes, he will. He'll yep. be painted up in time. And we've got the um, communications guy here. Yeah, I love that model. Mas uh, Master of Signal is, is a nice model. Fantastic. Real pleasure to paint, actually. Yep. And um, we've got, got Tech Marine over here. Yep. That's one of the old metal models, isn't it? It is. Um, I thought he was perfect for pre heresy. Removed any imperial and you know eagles on him just so that he looked more yep. accurate. Also got a couple of super. Uh, well, actually, I've got my Spartan first before we. Spartan first. Hit the cut. Uh, my Spartan enjoyed painting that. Enjoyed weathering it. Probably over weathered it a bit much, but it's Death Guard. They never repair their stuff, so as far as I'm concerned, they're going to be heavily weathered. Yep. Pain in the bum to build, but absolutely fun to paint. Yeah, you always have trouble with those tracks. Uh, I've got a couple of super heavy heavies. These were just sitting around and got the airbrush out and literally painted both of them in an hour each. In, I think, in fact, I think it was an hour for the both of them. Longest part was the undercoat. So they've taken so a bit of actual proper damage because there was an incident with my cats and so a TV, but um, the they've survived somewhat. And we've got the Storm Lord. Now these, these, this is one of my favourite tanks. Stormlord, the yeah. transport capacity and that gun, yeah. just amazing, just worth it. Yeah, we saw, we saw how mine performed in the last battle, didn't we? Yeah. And then on top of my bit of machinery is where my force is going next. So you've got um, Thalax, isn't it, Lemons? Yep, yep. Three, three Thalax. Um, I'm, at the moment I've got two squads of Thalax and I have my um, Magos. Magos, Magos, Magos. Yep. And I've also got a, a knight which is well underway. And we also have these guys at the front. Yes, my command squad. Right, so we've got the, the Praetor in yep. cataphracty armour. And then we have the um, it's Death, Death Shroud. Absolutely love the models. I've absolutely loved the idea for them. However, in every game I've ever played, they've done nothing. I've still won a lot of battles, but they've just done nothing because they're slow. They always end up in the wrong place at the wrong time and end up not doing very much. Right, well that's um, Stu's Crusade Army for the game. Um, thanks for watching the video, we'll catch you in the next one. Uh, hopefully have some more armies on display. Okay, bye for now.